So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off with showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see, we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side and the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge in the middle at the bottom. Above that, we have the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 20,190. You can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change that information uh, by using buttons on the steering wheel. So, for example, we have a trip computer menu. We have vehicle settings. We have your phone. Uh, audio menu as well, satellite navigation, and then back around to the beginning again. If I back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a second ago are just here. We have stereo and phone controls beneath that. Stereo controls continue on the left along with uh, speed limiter, just here. And then over in the center, we have the main touchscreen for the car. So you can access your satellite navigation here, of course. There's a full video showing how the sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. This is where you pay your phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Just follow the instructions on screen from there. And then when it comes to audio, we have plenty of ways to listen to music and the radio. So AM, FM and DAB radio. Bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly. This car also has two separate USB inputs. So if you plug devices into those, they'll appear up here as further options for you. We then have the main volume uh, for the stereo system just there. Working our way down, we've got the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, the direction the air is being distributed in. Air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set here. Uh, we have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well. Beneath that, a 12 volt charging socket, one of the two USB inputs I mentioned, a six speed manual gearbox, and then these buttons just here. So this one firstly turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is now off. We can turn off the traction control and we can put the car in eco mode from here as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.